All right, now we've we've uh, seen this presentation at, at trade shows where things are very hectic, and uh, but now Mr. Kermis is in my home, and he's going to set up one of his cavitation machines and go through the entire process, and that way I'll have it on record, and I will be uh, experimenting with this system, and uh, and then I will write a full review of it now that it's at home. And so let's start from the very beginning because it's a very good place to start. Very good. Thank you, Michael. And thanks for the courtesy. Um, what we have here is basically our uh, ultrasonic record restoration system. And what we've done is you unpack it out of uh, the box and all the tools that you need to clean a record are included except for the distilled water and also the alcohol that we use, the 70%. So what you do is you'll take the distilled water and pour in basically nearly two gallons until you hit the full mark. So that indicates to you that we have enough water, it's basically six liters. And then you'll take the isopropyl alcohol that you bought. Uh, if you have one of these at home, you fill it up to 40 milliliters or 1.4 ounces. What I do is when I buy this, you at a Safeway pharmacy, they'll give you a free dispenser, which is more accurate than this Pyrex. And that's 70%? That's 70%. We don't want to have anything more because we don't want to affect plasticizing agents inside the vinyl. Once I've done that, I then... And that's a very, very small percentage of alcohol compared very to little, the water. It's tiny. Very little. It's minuscule. And, okay. and we've scientifically seen that that's the right mix with margin of error for someone not to overly, you know, add too much. Right, okay. Plug in the unit in an outlet. There's a rear switch on the back. The unit then powers up and it shows five minutes as default on the ultrasonic timer. What we want to do, since we poured water into the tank and alcohol, we want to remove the big bubbles that are created by the pouring process. So we click this pulse button twice, and you'll hear the ultrasonic pulse, and you'll see the countdown timer go from 1 minute 36 down to zero. We do this two times, so when the timer goes to zero, we then press the pulse button twice, and it will do another 1 minute 36 cycle. Now, for those who are new to this, I mean, a lot of people have watched these videos previously. This is not a stock off-the-shelf cavitation bath. This is one that you've had designed for your specific purposes. That is correct. And that means it's operating at what frequency? We're operating at 35 kilohertz with 40 watts of power split among three ceramic transducers that are angled correctly to allow us to properly touch the entire record with records being spaced at an inch and three quarter. We did not go and rebuild an ultrasonic. We sought the largest manufacturer, most prominent manufacturer to use their basic design. We've modified the, the firmware, we've modified the screen to be touch screen, and then to properly wash records to the wax mark. This portion here is where the magic is. It's our patented system that suspends records on a nice rolling system that will not harm the edges. So now I want to assemble this. So all I do is I place this into the tank and I plug in the power connection to the logic on the side. take a record out of its sleeve. I always like to just inspect it, see what's there, and... And you've told me you will stay in my house and live in the garage and clean all the records that are behind you. I would love to. Including the ones that you don't see, because there's more. And I, I think that was really nice of you. Uh, I, I, I really thank you for the opportunity, so I'm guaranteed work for life and even after life. Excellent. Thank okay. you. <laughs> so, now we're set. The unit shows five minutes. All I do is I press the power on-off button twice, and you hear the motor running, and I just slip the record into the slot. Now this will turn for five minutes, and this is the first step of our process. 
So this is a process. It's not just an automatic machine where after five minutes we're done. You need to use some elbow power to remove, especially for records in your collection that have been washed by vacuum systems and all sorts of chemicals have been used. We want to strip all of that. Now, let me just interrupt for a second. You can put how many records in safely at a time? You could put two? Yes, I can put two 33s, uh, 10 inch, which is either a 78 or a 45, extended right. play, and a 45. And I can do all of these simultaneously. Now, what what do you do with those other records? You take, and when you're finished with this, you'll take the one record out and start doing what you're going to show us now. Yes. What do you do with the other records that you've also spun around in there? What I do is I stage them by minutes. So I put the first record in, in a minute, at one minute. I put the second record in at three minutes. I put in the third record in at six minutes. So what I, I do, I stagger it so that I can keep the machine running while I'm going back and forth. Ah, that's great. That's great. Okay. So I do number one, number two, number three, number four, and then back to number one. So now, after five minutes, the machine will stop. Right, we're going we're gonna to fake this because we're just going to show you what the system so yep. you know. So now it says five minutes. Right. So what I do is I take the record out. We have a microfiber cloth that has this rabbit felt. This rabbit felt is basically suspending our record off microfibers. Right. Never use microfiber towels because they have lint. We right. just use this to protect the work area. Okay. So I put this onto the felt. I now take my surfactant, which is 1% ethyl glycol, 99% uh, 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 distilled water. And I spray at 12 o'clock, 3 o'clock, and 8 o'clock. But it's 20 after 2. That's right. Uh, yeah. okay. Eastern Standard Time, right? Or <laughs> okay. Mount, or I'm sorry, time. bad joke. Bad Very joke. good. Okay. So now what I do is I then take my brush and in a circular fashion, I now go and apply the surfactant. So this is step one of the five minute, first five minute cycle. I and flip it, it over. What are you seeing there that we should take note of? Okay, well, in, the, in this record here, I am not, in, in, a, in a decently cleaned record, I'm not going to see toothpaste look coming out. Yeah. So we're not, first. we're not talking about like uh, Ipana showing up on the record. We're talking about liquid that looks pasty and gray. Yeah, if you take a look at this slide here, you will see what normally you should see. Just basically a little surfactant with some bubbles in it. Right. A very bad record that's being cleaned by all these soaps may at the first stage see these bubbles look like toothpaste. Normally we don't see this in the first five minute okay. cycle. So now we put this into the machine and again we're using the ultrasonic, the cavitation and the plasma effect now allowing the water to touch the surface of the record because the surfactant allows the water to adhere to the record. That's why we use surfactants. Systems that don't use surfactants don't have the full capability of the ultrasonic. So this will run for another five minutes. And with the five minutes approaching, what I'm going to do is I'm going to rinse this. Okay. This is distilled water. And I'm going to rinse this brush because this brush was used with the surfactant and seeing coming out of the record previously enzyme soaps or whatever was used in the cleaning process before, including things that came out of the production. Five minutes is over, the system will stop. We take the record out. So this will be now the second application of surfactant. So I'll put this again, 12 o'clock, four o'clock, eight o'clock. It's okay if the record is wet. wet yes, record is that's fine. fine, that's fine. So now I'm applying this to this record in a circular fashion. And you see there's a little more of this white material coming out of the record, but not a lot. This, from my experience, indicates that this record did not or was not subject to one of the vacuum soap cleaning systems. This was cleaned by an ultrasonic system. So I do this second time. Start the machine. So this is a second uh, five minute cycle using the surfactant. And we're going to speed this up again, jumping up into time. Our right. five minutes is over. The system will stop. Five minutes comes back onto the system. And then what we do 
is we apply another third time the surfactant and if we do not see toothpaste which we just showed in the previous slide right. we know that this is the last step so sometimes with records such as mine that I bought when I was a young man in elementary school in the 60s and used all sorts of anti-static sprays and you know all sorts of cleaning agents plus a vacuum system when I don't see that anymore all I do is I run one last five minute cycle right. if I see what you just saw here you keep on going until that is no longer there so after five minutes this one I was very happy with. I didn't have to put any more surfactant right. on. That's three cycles you did. So this was right three here. cycles. So here I just let the water drip off, put it on my work pad with a little mist. I then apply this onto the record. So there's a little mist, not a lot. I then take an optician's cloth that comes with the system to basically just rinsing the record. Okay, so I'm just basically rinse this side. Okay. I now do the same thing on the other. So when you're buying one of these spray bottles, get one that has a very fine mist because right. we don't need a lot of water to do this. And that optical cloth does not scratch the surface of the No, record. it doesn't. You'll see no, no it scratches doesn't. On Absolutely the not. Plate. It's not only an opticians, it's a laboratory cloth. We use it to clean lenses on $50,000 microscopes. Right, okay. Now, we've resurrected felt that was made in the 60s that fits the grooves. It's called uh, Dr. Watson England created a parastatic yeah. felt. Now we're going through our record in a circular fashion. This removes anything else that is in the record's grooves as it pertains to water. This record now is as virgin as we can get in this process and we'll show you in the next clip what to do with the record before you either store it or you play it. Thank you very much for your attention. So here we have our record that is as virgin as possible and as restored as possible and we just put it onto our turntable like so and while the turntable spinning what we're going to do is we're going to apply a mist of our surfactant onto our brush uh, which the mist will then when we coat the record it serves both as an antifungal agent as well as an anti-static agent so for those of you that don't have another brush what we do is we just use a spray of distilled water onto the brush that we used in the previous cleanings and then just dry the brush on our rabbit cloth that comes with the system and now what we do is we take our surfactant at an arm's length and just apply whoops there we go just apply two shots of mist onto the brush in this case I put three and what we do then is we polish the record so this now goes across the record just like a tone arm would and we go back and forth a couple of times so what this is now doing is applying just a very very fine coating of our anti-static fungal solution which is the same as our surfactant which is 1% ethyl glycol and 99% distilled water so we do that on side one and then we repeat the process on side two so again two or three light shots just a little mist there we go and that's all we have to do onto the record now what we do is we do this and then afterwards we either play the record or we store the record in a anti-static anti-fungal sleeve make sure it's not just a PVC sleeve just like the record there is a content of sucrose inside so we don't want to put a cleaned record either into your original paper sleeve or into anything else except a proper anti-static anti-fungal sleeve and you can get those in the marketplace
And now we've completed the restoration of our record. Thank you very much, Michael, for assisting in the filming of this and using your facility and your records. And uh, if there's any other information you need, it's on our website, www.kermisaudio.com, K-I-R-M-U-S-S, audio.com. Thank you.